Hey Slick Review fans, coming at you with another video. In this episode, we're checking out a brand new wallet from Blackbrook. So what we're checking out in this episode is a brand new wallet from Blackbrook. This is the Wade, and it's built around the pop-up design, but it has a couple cool features. So they sent us two colors to look at. This one is the golden brown. We'll look at the burnished tan here in a second. So why I'm kind of excited about this wallet is it has the pop-up design that we've seen before. A lot of companies are doing something like that, but they built a, you know, a secondary wallet around it, which I think is cool. So on the outside, this one is their golden brown. It's kind of like a matte finish leather, more natural feeling. And looking around the outside, all the stitching looks really good. Minimal company branding with the logo down there. Nothing on the back does let you know that it's RFID protected on the inside. And then one of my favorite things, I've been waiting for something like this, is just a button clasp closure to keep the front wallet closed. I've been asking for something like this for a while. A lot of companies will do like a magnetic thing or something like that. I think a button just works. I think it works a little bit better. So looking on the inside, you've got one ID window with a thumb slider for a card there one card on the back, a third card on the inside. So you get three right there, a currency elastic strap, a fourth card slot, and then your fan up that holds, you know, four to eight. And your mileage may vary depending if you have like thick metal cards or something like that. But you know, four to eight is a good rule of thumb for that. But the golden brown one looks absolutely gorgeous. I do like this matte finish and it has just a nice kind of timeless look. But for my testing, I did carry the burnished tan one. This is just kind of the color that I prefer and does match the rest of my Blackbrook stuff. And lately I've been doing the, the wallet iPhone case. The, we looked at this one a few months ago. I'll throw links uh, you know, down in the description for all this Blackbrook stuff. I really dig this iPhone wallet though. Uh, we did my name with the engraving and then it's got, you know, some extra card slots all the way around. So I really like that phone case. And if that's not enough for you though, then this wallet's a great way to go. So on the inside, again, all of your card slots and everything. For the currency, when I was carrying this thing, I think five notes is about right. Uh, much more than that, what you run into is that it does get a little bit tough to, to smash this thing down and get the button on there. So five currency notes in that slot was about right for me, especially if you're using all of these outer card slots, that's I think about right. Normal retail on these is about $80. I think that's pretty fair, especially considering it's full grain leather and you're getting a lot of versatility. Now, weight is really not bad. Thickness, if that's appropriate for a front pocket wallet, uh, that's kind of up to you. That's where I carry my stuff. It's a tiny bit on the thick side, I think, for my comfort for a front pocket wallet. And if you don't think you would use this kind of whole, you know, book situation, soon they will start selling just the card pop-up holder. I'm not sure when. Uh, they did mention that soon they will start just selling that part by itself. So if that's all you need is just the currency, one card slot, and then fan up, you know, for about four to eight other cards, if that's all you need, then pay attention to their website. I don't know when it'll launch. I would expect very soon um, because it's essentially just that part that they're already doing um, just sold on its own soon. So the Wade wallet from Blackbrook, again, it's basically, in my opinion, the perfect you know, pop-up design wallet. This is the best one that I've ever seen. I've looked at quite a few over the years, and this is the first one that I've seen that integrates you know, kind of a, a secondary little wallet off to the side here. And overall, I think that's, to me, Blackbrook nailed it. I think this is the perfect pop-up wallet. My question for you all is, are these missing anything? I really can't think of anything. It might be nice to have a card slot on the back or maybe move the money clip instead of the elastic band. I think one potential improvement could be just doing a metal clip on the back and just have currency on the back or something like that, or maybe an extra card slot. If we took out the elastic from here and just moved a metal clip or something to the back, then you could always close the uh, 
front with no issues and carry as much currency as you wanted in the back. So I think if anything, if I was going to improve or change anything, that's what I would do. Um, but overall, I think as it is, it's an absolutely fantastic wallet. So what I wanna know from you all is, what do you think of this? What would you use it for? Do you think it's perfect? What would you change? Let us know down in the comments. If you have any other comments or questions, please leave them down below. I like to hear from everybody. And if you'd like to get in touch, all my social media links are down in the description as well. And last, before we go, if you enjoy straightforward, to-the-point content like this, where we find great deals online from well-known and upcoming brands, make sure to leave the video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. Pretty easy and free ways to help support the channel. That's all I've got for you this time. I'm Zach, this is Slick Reviews, and I'll see you in the next video. This review is completed following several weeks for the product sample provided by the manufacturer. No compensation was provided, and the manufacturer was not allowed editorial input, copy approval, or an early preview. To see more videos like this, please consider subscribing to the channel.